Hello there folks, uh, this quick video is going to show you how to use a uh, Redline HMI to do pass-through communications to a Allen Bradley PLC that does not have an Ethernet port on it. So here to uh, my left I have an Allen Bradley Micrologix 1000 unit that has just a DF1 port on it and uh, I would like to be able to talk to it over Ethernet and it does not have an Ethernet port on it. So first I'm going to show you, I'm going to use a USB to serial communicator to talk to this thing first. So if I go over here to my device manager and I'm going to go ahead and turn on my USB to serial connector. So I'll turn it on here. Let's see if we get a ports here to show up. Okay. So here it is at COM4 right here. You can see it right there. All right. Now that we know that, I'm going to go over to RS Links, which is uh, at Rockwell Software. And RS Links, I'm going to go ahead and configure a driver right here. I'm going to hit the pole down here, and I'll go down to, I'm going to pick RS-232 DF1, and I'll hit Add New. Comes up here, no big deal. I'll click OK. And I'm going to choose the COM port number 4, because that's what the device manager told us. I'll leave everything else here by default, and all I have is this uh, USB cable connected to the uh, Allen Bradley, uh, I can't think of the part number the PCMC. Anyway, so I'll hit the auto configure here. Notice it's going to go through and test the communications. Came back, auto configure successful, 9600, 8, 1, and 9. So I'll click OK. That's up and running. I'll hit close. And then I'll go over to RS Logics 500. And here I've got a ladder logic program. And if I go here, who active to go online, we can simply pick this guy right here. Pick the PLC, this guy right here, click OK, and watch. This will go online over the uh, USB to serial connection here. Oh, there it is. OK, I don't know why it took so long. But here I am online with it, and you can see I'm online. I'm going through the USB cable. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go online with this through the Ethernet method. So I'm going to go offline. Okay, we're offline again here, and this time I'm going to disconnect the USB cable, so I'll uh, go ahead and uh, turn that off here. I'll just uh, maybe do this one. I turned it off, so it, it'll disappear from there. I'm going to disconnect the cable from that, and I'll plug it into a cable from Redline, a CBL GEN01 cable, and over at my... Red Lion device, I've got a G09 here, one that's at the office, and I have an RS-232 port configured as an Allen Bradley DF1 Master, 9600, 81, and none, the same as there. The only thing I've done different here is I've set up the port sharing down here, and I've given it a port number of 1234, okay? So uh, then I have, of course, the AB under here. That's just the device. I've got set up as Micrologix, and I do have a couple tags over here, data tags. I have some tags already configured here, and in this case, uh, on the web server, so back here, this is the uh, web server of this guy, right here, this is the IP address. If I click the View Data tab, and then click the AV Micrologix, I can see here that I have some values on the screen. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over here. Uh, we're going to fire up a software called HW Virtual, and I'm going to use a com6 and I'm putting in the public IP address of my uh, office right here and there's that port number 1234 so I'm going to hit the create com this will take a little bit of time for the software to create a virtual serial port but let's see here so this is created here by the way I haven't done anything settings over here I don't have anything checked in here on the advanced Nothing known there. Pretty much that's it. So then I'll go back to RS Links here. And I want you to remind you, here I'm using COM6. So in RS Links, I'm going to go here. I'm going to add another one. Maybe I'll stop this one. Not that that matters, but I'll hit it down. I'll choose again RS-232. This is going to sound really weird, but when I click OK, hit the pole down here, I'm going to choose COM6 this time right here, and I'm going to hit Auto Configure. And let's see. You look over here. You can see some stuff, and it says auto configure successful. Good. All right. So now watch this. If I go back to RS Links, 
and go to comms here, who active online. I don't know why it's slid over there, but uh, we can click this guy this time. And under this guy is the other port here. We can click on this, click OK. I don't know why Rockwell takes so long to do these things, but look, team, I'm actually online with this now over Ethernet to that PLC that does not have Ethernet communications. The only drawback to this procedure is that the connection right now when you're online polling, all of these tags are offline because currently the RS Logix 500 is taking precedence. So if I was to maybe, can I shrink this down a little bit so you can see both? Let me see here. If I do that like that, move it over here. If I go offline here, I'll go offline. So this should disconnect. Okay, so we're offline there. And then if I go over here to links, so links is still online. Let me, uh, can I move, I'll close this. Let's see if I can move this over here real quick like this. And then if I go double click on this, let me see something here quick, real quick. If I stop COM6, let's watch, I'll hit stop here. Boom, see the values come right back. And if I hit start here, it goes away because this is taking precedence. So I'll just point that out to you, but uh, you can see that. And that's the easy way to add Ethernet communications to a PLC that does not. And just use a, a software called HW Virtual Serial. Is all I'm using this guy right here to create a serial connection. And then I'm going to RS Links. And then I go into RS Logix 500. Anyway, thought I'd show that off to you. Pretty cool. Thanks. Have a great day.